So, Dr. Maul. Yes, sir. Guess what day it is? It is Friday. And you know what happens on Friday? Nothing but happiness. Happiness research Friday. because it's Research Friday. <laughs> Absolutely. And so the article we're going to be covering today is called Functional Rehabilitation for Degenerative Lumbar Spinal Stenosis. I think all I heard out of there was spinal stenosis. That's pretty much what you should have heard. And I might be able to rehab it. And you might be able to rehab it because in school, once again, I was told all you do is manipulate it. Yeah. And if you manipulate it, it should get better. Yeah, and there might be some clinical experience to that. Yes, but there, there may be. But only, what, what do you do with that person who has it when they're away from your office? And I think that's the key, right? That is the key. Okay. Because when we start talking about stenosis, one of the, the signs that I, I don't know if it's a true orthopedic test, but someone made it up, it's called shopping cart sign. Okay. You know, Makes so sense. someone starts walking in. You know, you see them get out of their car and they walk standing yeah. straight and then all of a sudden they have to start leaning over that shopping cart. Because what they're doing is they're actually taking the tension off the central stenosis or the lateral stenosis of the spine. Yeah. Yeah. But now I'm going to sound like a normal patient when you mention right. that. It feels like I have it. Well, I sometimes lean on a cart when I walk. Well, Maybe that's, I need that's, to stabilize just, that's my... just because you're like, you, you, you're channeling your California. There we go. That's what yeah, it is. That's my swag. What it is. You're getting your swag All on. Right. Absolutely. So what, the great thing about this article is if you have somebody, you know, what they talked about was uh, the biggest percentage of the patients I had with stenosis loved to play golf. Yeah. They just, they just loved it. Okay. So what can we do to give them when, in between the holes when they're playing to get them through something nine do. holes, 10 holes, 12 holes? Give them something to do. Okay. Okay. So um, pretty much as we know, um, if someone is flexion intolerant and bending forward and it hurts, it's more likely a disc. Possibly, yeah. Okay. So if they go back, that's more your facet issues. Yep. Okay. So this is one when they talk about the exercise, it's actually flexion. They love to be in flexion. It feels love good. They love to be. Well, that's the shopping cart. Yeah. They can stretch all day in the yeah, flexion. They're, they're opening up the back part of the joints. If it's this lateral, it's going to open it up. And if it's central, it's going to open Makes it up. Sense. So all they're doing is just trying to get more space. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just show some easy, simple rehab for people. You know, since I talk more about with the golf course, I will, yeah. we'll review those. But even if you're working at your desk or anything like that. That makes sense. How does that sound? I think they even talk about some other forms of care. I mean, when you're looking they at... They do. Yep. Like you said, I think there was a key point with what you said. I want to make sure we highlight that. The question is, what do you do when they're outside your office? That's the main thing. Because when they're in your office, you can mm -hmm. do hip mobilization with stretches. And yep. It even talks about that. Yes, it does. You can do core strengthening. Yes. Um, it talks about recumbent bike or, or stationary bike. Mm -hmm. You're going to have mm -hmm. them do that all day long. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about postural training. Yeah. Um, activities of daily living training. And so there's so many things yep. you can do in the office. But the challenge is these individuals are kind of like those patients that they feel good when they leave. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, a few hours later, it comes back. Yes. And so the question is, how can you make that stretch out? How can you help them learn to take care of themselves? Help increase, help increase their activity of daily living. And so these exercises show that they've been able to help patients yes feel better. Yes, they have. Oh man, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay. So now we're going to re review the exercises for lumbar stenosis. So most of the time, as we already talked about shopping cart syndrome, the person likes to go into flexion. So one of the exercises, seated, what you do is you lean forward and grab one of your toes. So just lean forward. Yeah, yeah that one. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> now, if for some reason you can't get there, it's okay. You can reach down and just grab the front part of the thigh, just like that. Hold for about 30, 40 seconds to a minute as you start to feel the relief. Come back up. Let's do the other side. Same thing, 30, 40 seconds. Come back up. And then if you really want to get fancy, you can grab both of them at the same time. You can grab the inside or the outside of the foot. It makes no difference. All right? 30 or 40 seconds. Now, Let's make it even more like we talked about, is that the patients I had play golf. So if they're riding in a cart, most of the time, those patients aren't going to be walking. Right, Dr. Maul? True. So if you look at like this ball, it's about the height of a golf cart step. So they can, while everybody else is teeing off, they can lean forward, do the exact same thing. 
hold it for about 30, 40 seconds, switch legs. Same thing. Hold it 30, 40 seconds, come back up. And that, that way it'll give them the ability to do rehab in between times that they visit us. So Dr. Chris, yes, yes sir, those exercises. Yeah, do you like those? Simple. E-A-S-Y, I mean, easy. When you, when I, I remember <laughs> that one from the other video. I, I now know how to spell it. But when you look at the exercises, mm -hmm. they don't even look like exercises. No. I mean, these are just, no. hey, I do those every day when I put on my socks, when I tie my shoes, when I bend over to pick something up. Pretty simple. simple. Pretty simple. Very simple. Yeah, and then you're getting out of the golf cart like we talked about just a second ago. And that's the main thing. So overall, what this is, is, is for a non-operative lumbar spinal stenosis. And, if you, and it talks about the different types in here. Yeah. Um, it's a great way of helping the patient outside the office for things that, other than what you're doing in the office like we've already yeah. discussed. Big yeah. take home. It's a great take home. Spinal stenosis, I feel more excited and confident when I see these cases mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. because of this understanding. Mm -hmm. I don't get so scared of them. No, um, it no. Makes it, I only get scared when they're stenotic with disc problems. Oh, we, no, <laughs> well, that's no, that's, that's a whole nother <laughs> yeah. person and well, man. No, that's crazy. So if you want to take a look at how to better manage spinal stenosis mm -hmm. and reference the peer-reviewed literature, feel free to check out the link below and you can access their article. Otherwise, thank you once again for viewing. We'll see mm -hmm. you next Friday. See you next Friday, everybody.